Thank you, Billy, for sponsoring today's video. Hello. Oh wait, judge my pillows up for you. Okay, hi. I kind of feel like I am in a little bit of an art rut. I just haven't been feeling as connected with my work as I want to be. So I'm hoping to work through that this week by challenging myself to make art every single day. I am hopeful that I will be able to make like a finished piece ish every single day. Oh, I also have this little list of art to make. I feel like I need to do this more. Like when I get an idea and I'm excited about it, I need to write them down. So yeah, hopefully this week is full of a lot of art and just like tapping back into my creativity and I can't wait. Before we dive into making art, I am super excited to talk to you about Billy, who is today's sponsor. I first heard about Billy when some of my friends recommended their razors to me, and I absolutely love mine, so I was super excited to hear that they're coming out with a new body care line. As a dancer, I can get sweaty and stinky sometimes, but it's also important for me to use a deodorant that is aluminum free. Billy's all day deodorant is aluminum and baking soda free. It's so lightweight, so I don't have to worry about staining my clothes, and the smell is so good. If I could buy a candle that smelled like this, I would. Billy's AHA deodorant is formulated with a blend of acids to combat odor and ingrown hairs. It's like skincare for your underarms, which is super cool. Outside of deodorant, Billy also just launched new body washes and lotions. I have been absolutely loving this Bounce body wash lately. It smells so good. It contains hyaluronic acid and peptides to help lock in moisture. I struggle with bumpy and dry skin on my arms, but ever since I've been using this body wash, my skin texture has improved so much. I highly recommend Billy's new body care line everything smells so good and is at an affordable price point the best part is you can find it in store at your local Walmart if you want to try out Billy's new body care head to your local Walmart walmart.com or check out the link in my video description thank you so much Billy for sponsoring this video and keeping me smelling fresh and now let's get back to the video Last night I came up with a couple different sketch ideas on my iPad and then this morning I was like, I don't know. So I made this little comic. I just feel like it would be so fun and like a little bit different from what I normally do, but still in my wheelhouse because it's a duck. It's on my iPad. It won't be too scary. So let's do it. I think my problem with this is that I drew every single little comic with like the same layout. So the background is the same in all four. I don't know. I feel like I'm not feeling the colors. Something just doesn't feel right. Am I super upset about this not being perfect right now? A little bit, <laughs> a little bit. I reworked her, pretty much read it at all, and I think I like it better. I really vibe with this one. I think there's something a little bit too like cartoony and cutesy about the second two panels. So I kind of re redid it and honestly I am glad I did because I feel like now this is like more what I was envisioning I still wouldn't say that I feel like this is the most amazing thing I've ever made or even that I'm like super pumped about it in a hilarious twist this ended up being my most liked post I've ever made on Instagram like by far not that likes matter that much you know whatever social media is made up but still kind of funny so this is the evolution of it this was the first attempt then this is the second attempt and then this is my final one so I'm glad I persevered <laughs> and have like a finished product that I'm semi happy with so yeah trying to not be too hard on myself but it's so ingrained in me so 
that'll be a fun thing to work on this week is not being too self-critical. It's like 1045 and this is the time of night where suddenly my creative brain turns on and I'm like, oh, I have so many great ideas and all I want to do is draw. So I found a draw this in your style to do. It's from Sophie McPike. So far I have a little sketch. So I'm gonna keep working on this while I lay in bed and watch YouTube because that is my idea of a perfect night. I'm so tired. This just flowed out of me. And I love it. I think it's so cute. Day one was interesting because I feel like today I struggled a lot during the day to come up with that first little comic illustration. And then this little draw this in your style activity was just so successful. Who knows why that happened, but that is cool. Okay, good night. Okay, so this is my incense holder, and it is not my vibe. And I was like, what if I made a duck incense holder? So I sketched out this little idea, and I think it would be really fun for me to do a little bit of like a sculpting project. So yeah, let's go to the art supply store. Hello, I am at the art supply shop and let me see, I have a list of everything I need to get because I not only want to get things for this week, but also I <laughs> have been wanting to do a video where I follow a Bob Ross tutorial. And oh my gosh, Mr. Bob Ross be using so many colors in his tutorials. So I feel like low key, I'm about to spend a lot of money. I feel like I can always justify buying art supplies. So let's get shopping. So I was gonna get a set, but then one of the employees here was like, we have a sale. So maybe I'll just get all these individual little tubes, but I don't know which colors I need. I hope Bob Ross is smiling upon me right now as I spend so much money to follow his tutorial, but it's gonna be worth it. I love Bob Ross. He seems like a great guy. I got all my stuff. Watching the cashier scan every single item and just watching the total go up, it's fine, it's fine. It's an investment into my art, okay? Let's go home. I'm so excited to try out my little polymer clay activity tonight. I think that's gonna be so fun. I watched approximately like four minutes worth of YouTube tutorials on how to do polymer clay. So I'm going to wipe down my surface. We're just gonna try this. I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay. I got this old hairspray bottle. Oh wait, it's not a bottle, a can. I'm thinking that maybe I can use it to roll my clay. We'll see.
I'm gonna try to use this teaspoon to cut a little lily pad. I don't know if this is gonna work, but. sure if this will look totally right, but <laughs> Okay, the beak is kind of big. It's a duck. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. holder I'm going to impale my duck it has to be done okay I have made this little contraption to try to bake my guy I read on reddit to not put anything in contact with it but then also people were saying to put foil over thinner parts to avoid spiking. I don't know what spiking is. It was cute before it went in the oven and hopefully it'll be cute afterwards. That's my only hope, okay. Hey, gonna check on it. I don't really know how I know if it's done though. So I don't know what I'm looking for here. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It looks the same as when I put it in. How do I know when it's done? It said on the package, 15 minutes per quarter inch. Also, I'm back in my favorite shirt ever. You know how cartoon characters have like that one shirt that they wear in every single episode? I feel like this would be my version of that. I've, I've been wanting to expand my, my t-shirt collection. I feel like I need to go on a thrift event and find more cool t-shirts. Gently. Ah. Oh my gosh. It looks cute. This is me and my duck. I feel like it turned out really cute for like my first little polymer clay guy. I'm really happy with him. Yay, we made art today. So today is a pretty busy day for me because I have my final game of the NBA season and I'm trying to get a lot of editing done today. So I don't feel like I have a lot of time to make art. And at first I was like, maybe I'll skip today. And then I was like, wait, I could just draw and do my little glazing project for like 30 minutes. And that is still making art. 30 minutes, starting now. Okay. We're going. Crazy. Someone just tell me why I do shit. Alexa stop. I think it's really cute actually. It is so not the current process that I've been following at all when it comes to my illustrations. Like this has been what my portraits have been coming out to look like typically. Let me turn on my little silly light. I'm very glad that I carved out some time today because I feel like typically it's very easy for me to be like I can't make art today because I don't have two hours free but I did a little bit of something today and that is totally fine. I don't need to do everything all at once. Am I learning balance? Is this what balance is? Oh my God. Mm -hmm. 
So I need to show you the results. I haven't tested it, so let's do that. He's just a little guy holding my incense. That is so funny. Today, I am going to be doing my little linen cut, block printing, whatever this thing is called, project. Now, I got the cheapest kit that Blix had, just because I don't wanna like, you know, spend money on this if I hate it. <laughs> but it looks so fun. Why is it? Oh my God, that's so cool. That's so smart. I love that. So the three different size cutters. This is how I do that. Oh my God, update on the duck. Look at, he caught his little thing. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud. So I gotta decide what I want to print with this little kit that I got. Oh wait, I actually made this sketch the other day. It's just like a little cat with a little hat. <laughs> but I feel like this would actually be potentially easy to print. turn this long video into two videos and then the video I'm filming right now whoa this went flying everywhere I decided to start on the background because that doesn't really matter that much Okay, so far, this is very fun. I am having a good time. I'm gonna bring it up to my eye height. to this so now I'm going to just simply ink on here on there rolly rolly roll print on paper that's what I am going to do Very satisfying. Oh, wait, that looks awesome. This is so fun. Love them. I remember actually really liking this subject in art class in like middle school or high school or something, but I totally forgot that I could do these things now. I love how they turned out. I think they're so cute. I'm gonna see if my neighbor wants one of these. She's smiling for the camera. My review of this week so far is that I am having actually a lot of fun. I feel like it's kind of turned into like a crafting time for me. Just like the polymer clay felt very crafty 
and then this project felt very crafty. I'm so used to 2D art that going 3D makes me feel like I'm like doing something revolutionary, but <laughs> I don't know, it's revolutionary for me. Yeah, this was really fun. And now I'm gonna go play the Switch and I will check in tomorrow. Hey, so it's the next day and I made a mistake. I left making art as my last thing on my to-do list today. And now it's 11 p.m. and I don't have much energy to do much at all. Maybe to say that I technically did fulfill the challenge I set up for myself, I will draw something right here on this little post-it. I love having ducks as my thing to just go back to every time I don't know what to draw. It's a huge life hack. If you're an artist, come up with something that you just know how to draw off the top of your head and just draw that whenever you need to say that you drew something today. And remember that you are still an artist even when you don't make art. Approved by me. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed now. Thanks for watching, bye. Just kidding, I'll probably do an outro in like two seconds, okay. <sighs> what a week we had together. I feel like I made so much more art in that week than I have in like months. I think the biggest hurdle to making art for me personally is just like carving out the time to do it because it always feels like there are more important things to be doing than making art, but it's really nice even if it's just like 30 minutes to carve out time and make something. It kind of just like boosted my confidence to see myself making art every day. It kind of like reinforces to me that yes, I am an artist. I also wanted to thank all of my patrons. You all rock so much. If you want to join the Patreon, I make an exclusive video and podcast and digital download there every single month. I am taking a brief Patreon vacation in the month of May, but I'll be back there in June. Okay, let me know if we did anything fun together. I would love to hear what you were up to while watching the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>